Hey guys, it's your girl Queen Bree, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. So today is Tuesday and I figured why not take advantage and do a Taco Tuesday for you guys. And as you guys know, my last cooking video that I posted was my first time in the kitchen and that was a disaster. So today I'm here to redeem myself. How are you guys feeling about the natural, the natural look? You guys always tell me that you love me with no makeup and that you love my natural hair. So here it is. A friend hair tie cooking with no makeup. Fun. Honestly, I don't have a problem not wearing makeup. I honestly just feel like I have such a baby face That's why I like to put on makeup because it makes me feel more grown, but I'm feeling it I'm here for it If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's get started So today, since I'm really feeling the Mexican vibe, I am gonna start off by making a fresh strawberry margarita, you know, just to set the tone and hopefully help me have a successful day in the kitchen. Okay, so for the ingredients, I have some fresh strawberries, tequila, and you can use any tequila. I'm using Casamigos Blanco, orange juice, and some ice. And then, this is for the end, but you do need some salt. You'll see what this is for when we get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna rinse out my strawberries. And now we're gonna dice them up. Pull back the hair and cut the head. This should be four cups of strawberries. One cup of ice. One cup of tequila. Honestly, there's just a little bit more. Bartender Brie in the house. One cup of orange juice. And then one shot of lemon, but I'm actually gonna use fresh lemons. And I'm gonna use one and a half lemon. This is so much fun to me. I love juicing things. Ooh. I'm gonna be using the Ninja. Three, two. This looks good. Oh my god. Now it's time to pull up, pull up. Watch it all fall out. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. Okay, so I did tell you that we were gonna use the salt for something. Does anybody know? So before we pour up, we are going to coat the rim with some salt. I'm gonna take a lime and just squeeze it around the rim. Now we're going to Perfect! Okay, that was my first time doing it and boom. Okay, so now we can pour. Damn, this is a lot for just me. Ooh. And just because I'm a little extra, I'm gonna add a lime to the rim. Oh my god, guys! My first margarita, this is so cute. I did that, I'm not gonna lie, I did that. Now, let me taste it. It's strong but good. Cheers. Now it's time to start the tacos. I feel good. Hmm. It's 
really strong. Oh my gosh. So here are my ingredients. I have some olive oil, some garlic, some taco seasoning, of course my ground beef, some onions, and some peppers. So let's put the olive oil in there. Medium high. So first I'm gonna put the onions and we're gonna let those cook until they're nice and brown. Okay, so with the onions I'm gonna add garlic. I love garlic and I'm gonna use my little tool. I also love my tool. I think I have a weird obsession with like squeezing things out. So we're gonna add some garlic. Now it's sizzling. Why do I always drop this? I'm so clumsy. Okay, maybe like two more. I really do love garlic, so maybe a little bit. We're just gonna cook the onions until they're like caramelized. Caramelized? How do you say caramel? Do you say caramel or caramel? Just until they're brown. This smells amazing. I wish you could smell this. So I think they're nice and brown now. We're gonna add the brown. I'm gonna leave that on medium high and let it sit for about six to seven minutes. So I'm bad with time. I'm gonna set my timer to seven minutes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling this. I have only had like four sips, but it's really strong. Good. So there's about one more minute left on the timer. And now is when you can go ahead and add your taco seasoning mix, whatever you want, it's your preference. And then I'm gonna add peppers and season this meat. I love seasoning and this smells good now. Now I'm gonna let that sit for another five minutes with all the seasoning and let it marinate. During this step is also when you can add tomatoes, but guys, I'm super picky and I hate tomatoes. So yeah, no tomatoes for me. You can add salsa, whatever you like. This is like your seasoning time. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 325 degrees. I'm preheating the oven so that we can put the taco shells in there and just warm them up because we're almost done. This literally smells so, so good. We are looking good. We are smelling even better. Okay guys, you literally went in on me last time for making one of the biggest mistakes and I definitely learned my lesson. So. I had my meat in here and I'm going to rinse it out before putting the cooked meat in here. So thank you guys for that. Do not want to get salmonella. <laughs> okay guys, it's nice and clean and ready for the cooked meat. These are the taco shells I'm going to be using. Old El Paso. I'm probably not gonna be able to eat three, but I'm just gonna heat three up. Just for the aesthetic, three looks better than two. Okay, so I'm just gonna hang them just like that, and I'm gonna leave them for five to seven minutes. Okay, now we wait. I have my 
time around two more minutes and by the way i put mine in the oven but you can put yours in the microwave for like 45 seconds just to get them warm but the oven's better so now we wait Okay, so they're done as you can see they're nice and brown looking and they smell good they smell like corn honestly let's take them out time to make my tacos before i make my tacos i just want to say okay besides that i'm feeling my tequila i just want to say like today i was more calm and less nervous in the kitchen i had more fun maybe because this was a lot easier and i had zero mistakes i'm very proud of myself i know i can't speak too fast because i didn't taste it yet but i just have to say like the overall process today was a good day in the kitchen with queen Bree. <laughs> now let's make my tacos Wait, these are so thin You guys know how I feel about my cheese. Guys, look how cute this sour cream is. It comes in a little pouch like this, so it's easier to squeeze out. How cute. I'm just gonna oh. oh! As I was saying, I'm just gonna put a teeny bit. It kind of just squirted it out. And now for the last touch, which is a little pinch of lime. Guys, I am really picky. I know a lot of people like guac on their tacos, but I don't like guac. It just tastes like nothing, and it has like such a weird texture. Not a fan. Just need a little bit of lime. I feel like nothing came out of that. I need to get my lemon squeezy. There we go. Now it's time for the best part, the taste test. Mmm, get into it. This looks so good. Okay, here I go. Mmm. This is bomb. The seasoning on the meat is everything. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're cooking the food, it just tastes so much better because it feels like it took forever and it was such a process. And then just finally getting that first bite is everything. Mm. These tacos are amazing. Literally amazing. Like, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but these tacos are so good. I'm literally going to eat all three. So now I'm happy that I made three. Aiden's going to eat it. Everybody's going to eat it. Best believe everyone's going to eat my tacos because I am just that proud. So, guys, that is the end of cooking with Brie. Happy Taco Tuesday. How did I do? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Excuse me? Ew, that's so gross. I'm not putting that in there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.